All right, welcome back everybody. This is Eric from Moss Pond and Gun, and uh, today we've got another little how-to video we're putting together for you here. And we're gonna talk about cold blue, okay? Now I know a lot of people really have mixed feelings about cold blue and its uses. All right, and I can tell you, working in the gunsmithing field and working under Ray in the gunsmithing field, I can tell you that cold blue is not really a good solution for completely rebluing a firearm, okay? It can be done. If the metal prep is impeccable, it can really give you a fairly decent result, okay? But the context of this video and what we want to discuss is what cold blue, in my opinion, is really intended to do, and that is to touch up small scratches, okay? Cold blue is an excellent way to do that. Uh, we've actually got an old Glenfield uh, barreled action here that was just in the parts bin. We're gonna scratch up a couple of spots, and I'm gonna show you a few common products uh, Birchwood Casey Perma Blue is a product that's on the market now that is very easy to get. It's all over the place. For touch-up, great. Okay, it's very usable. Brownells also sells a formula that they call the 4440. This is also a good, easy to use cold blue solution. It can be applied on warm metal, cold metal, warm, hot, what have you. All right. They also make a product called Oxfa Blue, which is an excellent product. I don't have any Oxfa Blue on hand, but both are excellent. 4440, in my opinion, is a little bit better for touch-up. I'm gonna to show you a couple of instances where we use 4440 for touch-up in the gun shop. I've got some coarse um, pot scrubber. We're gonna go ahead and scratch this bluing up a little bit. Oh yeah. It's actually just brightening it up, look at that. I might have to grab something to actually scratch it with. We'll see if we can maybe just uh, grab a punch here. And oops. Oops. Oh, sorry. All right, so we got, here's a, you know, I guess a pretty good example of a couple of scratches that you might see on a firearm when it comes in the door, all right? We're gonna touch these scratches up with some bluing compound. All right, we're gonna touch up these scratches, first with the Perma Blue, the other set of scratches with the 4440. Grab yourself a small butane torch, very small. You see how small this flame is. You're just gonna heat up the area just a little bit. It's just gonna help the bluing kind of adhere helps open up the pores in the metal a little bit. That's really all you're doing. I mean, this barrel is acting so much like a heat sink, it's gonna draw a good bit of this heat away. But this is just the way I like to touch up scratches, all right? Put a little heat on it, tear off a small tift of steel wool about this size, grab some perma blue. a dab will do you. You'll know it's on there because it'll blue the steel wool. Just take it and apply the bluing solution with the steel wool. And it should kind of help blend that stuff in pretty decent. It's starting to turn. I noticed the Perma Blue product doesn't really cover quite as well as this 4440. Now watch when we move on to the 4440. I'm gonna allow this to sit for a second. You can see it's starting to turn just a little bit. Now bear in mind, those aren't deep scratches. This is just a cosmetic touch-up is really what this stuff excels at. We're gonna go ahead and cap the Perma Blue and we're gonna move on to the 4440 while this is turning. All right, so same thing on this area of the barrel. We're gonna go ahead and warm it up a little bit. And this time we're gonna use 4440, which is one of me and Ray's personal favorites. It helps to degrease, but the nice thing about the 4440 is it cuts pretty damn well. Um, you really don't have to worry about it that much. This is just the way I do it, and I don't generally ever have any problems. All right, so again, 4440 this time. This is an excellent product, highly recommended. I'm not knocking Birchwood Casey. You can already see even the bluing on the steel wool. It is much, much darker. All right, this is quad alt. We're gonna take our quad alt, just give her a little shimmy there. And that warmed up nice. Okay. We're gonna allow both of those to sit just a little while. 
and then we're going to rinse off with some cold water and then follow up with a little bit of oil and a patch. And that's generally about it. The cold water, what it'll do is it'll neutralize this uh, cold blue solutions, which cold bluing is really just a form of controlled rusting. All right. If you don't neutralize it, it's going to make these ugly splotches on the barrel and they'll be really hard to get them to go away. So I'm going to just walk over to the ultrasonic. I've got some hot water and simple green in it. I'm going to rinse these off in the ultrasonic and then we're going to uh, follow up with a little bit of oil and then see how well both of those products covered. I'm also going to show you how to touch up screw heads when they get damaged. We're going to go ahead and move on to that right now where we're letting this sit. A lot of times what you'll run into when you're doing gunsmithing work is you'll either damage screw heads or you'll need to uh, re-blue screw heads. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way that you can get those things refinished, touched up, back in the gun, and then you move on with life. Uh, chalk your screw up in your uh, drill motor. Go ahead and spin it on the belt sander to scuff it up. All right, from there, it'll still be warm after you've uh, spinned it on the belt sander. We're gonna go ahead and just dip it in the cold blue or even on our uh, little piece of steel wool, just spin it on there, blew it right up. All right, you get the screw scuffed up real good. Just go ahead and drop it in a little bit of the 4440. All right, we're gonna let that sit a moment and then walk over to our water bath and go ahead and neutralize all this. All right, so we've uh, rinsed off with some warm water and Simple Green. Now what we're gonna do, you can see that the uh, 4440 kind of turned a little bit. You're gonna see that when we uh, steel wool, it's gonna clean up. And this is where we tried out the Perma Blue. We're gonna take a little bit of oil, put it on some steel wool, and we're gonna gently just go over it and kind of blend everything in together like this. And we can see that, you know, those scratches, the way that I put them in there, it's really difficult to get that cold blue to really fill it in, but you see it, it did fill in a little bit. Um, you know, bear in mind that there's only so much with like cosmetic blemishes and scratches that you're gonna be able to get away with with cold bluing. Um, the 4440, in my opinion, filled a little bit better. I mean, bear in mind that the scratches I put on this metal with the punch, they were scratches. I mean, these are gouges. So it's a little bit more than just, say, cosmetic. I mean, it's actually damage that I put to the barrel. This might not have been a very good example, but this just to give you an idea of how that process can work. And in my opinion, I think the 4440 is a little bit better product. Um, not knocking the Birchwood Casey, I've used it plenty. Um, what we'll do is I'm gonna show you the screw that we did. And with the screw head, we're just gonna grab a little bit of oil and just kind of dip it in some oil like this, kind of wipe it a little bit. All right, and see, there's our screw head that we re-blued. And see, you got a nice dark blue color. You can see the shaft of the screw is still in the white. And the 4440 gave us a nice, rich, dark blue. Um, that would do just fine for a, uh, a recoil pad screw or an action screw or really any kind of screw where you've uh, damaged the screw head and you've had to file it or mill it down and you need to re-blue it. Um, that's a perfectly usable example of what you would, you know, expect to get out of something like a cold blue product. So um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, that's your cold blue. Um, it's very good for touch up, for doing full guns, probably not so much unless you just really like a lot of tedious work. Um, but that's pretty much what you're going to do with cold blue. It's a great uh, tool on the reloader's bench, on the gunsmith's bench. Uh, a lot of people are going to find a use for good cold blue. All right, I know it's a little bit difficult to see the you know, detail of what we're trying to accomplish in this video, but hopefully you learned something today. 
Um, the cold blue is not an end-all, do-all solution to touching up a gun or re-bluing a gun, but for use on a gunsmith's bench, um, it really does have its place for small parts or sometimes if you're working on a gun and let's say you you might nick a little spot or you might have like for instance like you might push a set of sights and you might raise up a small burr on the dovetail on like a 1911 slide or any kind of slide sometimes it's nice to just take a little you know q-tip put a little cold blue on it and just touch that little guy right back up where that metal rolled so little bitty things like that it's a nice way to touch up metal so hopefully you learned something today and I appreciate you watching and we hope you'll tune in next week. We have more on the way.